-hmm. And then when you're done, you can package it all up and you have the protected faces encrypted and the rest of the video is visible. Yeah, and that's amazing that I'm, what I'm looking at right now, you can see that it's color coded all the faces so that they're easy to remove, really. You just say, show us the green or, or remove the green and it looks to me like it's a very simple product to use. Exactly, so it doesn't just find the faces, it tracks them throughout time so that if you know a certain person you want to reveal, you don't have to go frame by frame and reveal it. You're just revealing a track which is in this case anonymous, it's just a number, mm -hmm. and by deciding to reveal it, then you can see who it is. Right. H how did you come up with this technology? Where did it start? What was the brainchild behind it? So originally the technology started actually from my PhD work. Uh, there's a combination of technologies. I had worked on the ability to uh, store arbitrary regions of video, so not just normal rectangular regions, something right. like a face on its own. Sure. And then I had encryption technology that I had developed as well. And I decided to combine the two and realize there were some interesting things we could do with this. So this is what we're doing. We're taking faces, mm -hmm. regions, and encrypting them. And uh, so that what, that's what allows us to do this. Right, right. Um, but we still need to be able to track what it is we're looking for. And so by taking the technology that I had developed and uh, we teamed up with Zyrus, mm -hmm. Um, and we created this entity, Engineer Privacy, where we took uh, technology developed at Zyrus for tracking faces right. with my encryption technology, and then that brings us uh, to what we have today. So we're going to be talking to Cameron Searles and Dr. Phil Whiting, and uh, thanks very much, guys, for, for allowing this opportunity for everyone to see your awesome technology. So uh, maybe you could give us an idea of where the company has come from and where it's trying to get to because there is actually two companies working here in conjunction with each other which I find interesting. Well it all began from uh, Zyrus Automation. We're a machine vision company mm -hmm. and I was approached by a friend of mine uh, a number of years ago who uh, wanted to uh, take his private investigator company oh. to the next level. Right. And so the challenge that they have is they take a video in the field mm -hmm. and they have to take it to court sometimes. Okay. And as a result, uh, the courts don't like uh, a video showing faces of non-suspects. Right, right. And so they were looking for a way to remove faces from the video and they needed somebody with imaging expertise and, and sure. imaging technology. So we got involved. Right, right. And uh, we took a look at it and we were doing some research and contacted uh, a number of the local universities. And then the project sort of went sideways, didn't go anywhere. Right, right. About six months later, we got contacted by the uh, Privacy Commissioner of Ontario, mm -hmm. Anne Kawukian. And she told us about some technology that was being developed at U of T and that had some potential. Uh, applications in privacy protection. Sure. So that began a discussion. Right. And we became uh, uh, actively uh, discussing the idea of marrying the U of T technology with our imaging expertise to create a uh, uh, a face-bearing privacy enabling technology. Yeah, and from what I saw, even though it's in its early stages, it's extremely effective. So I'm sure it's going to just run off uh, for, for Absolutely. Both of you. It's, it's, in many ways, it's a, a technology ahead of a need. You mm -hmm. know, we know the need is out there. Somebody just has to really realize that it's, uh, it's something that they need. Oh, and even more so. Now everybody has a camera. And, and of course, once again, privacy issues, you know, you can't just go throwing people's information out there. I know Google a few years back got in real trouble because they were doing the street view and they had a lot of people, you know, being, being taped and uh, not being blurred out. So that's real Absolutely. important. Absolutely. And there's a lot of pressure um, on governments all around the world doing um, that, that who, whose facilities need to be protected, uh, uh, all the privacy of their individuals need to be protected, uh, and so mm -hmm. they're, they're under pressure to, to implement something like this. Sure, sure. So now, where did you start to play your part? So my background here is that uh, I was a few years ago on the advisory board of the company Zyrus that, that Cameron founded, and uh, as part of that knowledge, I fell in love with this technology. And um, through a relationship with Haltech last year, we managed to get a grant from the provincial government mm -hmm. 
uh, it's called an embedded executive grant, which allows them to hire an experienced executive into small companies to help them take the company to the next level. Right. And so uh, we arranged uh, a deal where I joined the organization as the president of the company to help to get it from an idea in the in the lab to something that's out there in in the business world. Right. And Haltech plays a huge part in this area. We were just there this morning, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And they they have a huge impact on the entire you know I guess you could say the golden horseshoe, but really specifically Halton region. I mean, they right. really throw a, a tremendous amount of support behind technology companies like yourself. Yeah, Halltech have been great. I mean, they've been wonderful help to us mm -hmm. and in all sorts of ways, not just from the point of view of the of the funding, but also mm -hmm. just in, in business contacts. We've been talking to a number of prospective investors in this organization, many mm -hmm. of which they've helped to bring to the table. They reviewed our business plan with us and uh, and just a, a bunch of things like that that have really helped to strengthen the business right, and to right. get us out into the into the world. Providing information and infrastructure to really help a lot of companies with mm -hmm. new ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do you get any feed students from, uh, from that location, uh, from the Sheridan College, or is it more of a university level? Well, the, interestingly, uh, we now have a research project going with Sheridan College on this technology. Right. And uh, they have a group of people that are working to help us develop the next generation of the technology. Wow. So we've, we've partly through the relationship with Haltech, have developed a, a stronger relationship with Sheridan College. Great. And uh, we're expecting that to make a big contribution to our technology over the next year. Oh, yeah, you bet.